In the previous Windows Deployment Services demo, we did the overall configuration. Now it's time to actually add the boot images from MDT to integrate with Windows Deployment Services. So after updating the deployment shares, if we go again into the file system and into one of the deployment shares, in this case my production one, I can actually see the boot image being used for this production deployment share. This is the ISO that you can use to uh, start from a CD or a DVD based media. But this is a WIM file that we can simply add to the Windows Deployment Services console. So let me go ahead and go to the console, expand my server, and as you can see, I have added quite a few boot images in here. If I want to do an update of this, I can either select here and add a boot image to add a new one, or if I want to replace one, I can select an existing one and say replace image. So now we'll go into the production boot folder. I will select my WIM file and I will add it back in the latest version of it. Like this. After adding the boot image, I can now go to a client and pixie boot it. And it will now contact my Windows deployment server and give me a list of the available sequences, of the available boot images. And now I can select my MDT production boot image that I added. And now I have started the deployment, but this time over the network, I can log in. Let's select the sequence and continue the setup.